Hello everybody, hope you're having a good day as uh, we take another adventure down these streets of Rouge. Of course this is a hardcore makeup simulator filled with all the violence you'd expect for that industry. And if it will start up here, there we go. Let's go ahead and let's do... Uh, we'll do a vampire today. Um, I know last time I said I would try somebody that uses guns. Or rather, show somebody that uses guns. Um, I have already pretty much played with everybody. So, what the vampire does, and I'll take some damage here to show you. Let me uh, beat these fools here into submission real quick. Hopefully. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Let's get out of here. Yeah. Okay. Those are some angry doctors. Uh, of course, as you saw in our playthrough, the doctor is pretty dang brutal. Okay. There we go. So the vampire sneaks up on people, and you can use that to heal so and you'll see like that guy's scared of me now he saw what I did and we're just gonna beat that person to death there we go now the interesting thing you can see uh, you can hear me hitting the quick heal doesn't do anything whoops and, and if I can remember how to there we go when we go to that yeah you gross I'm not putting that in my mouth um, pretty typical for, for vampires, not liking putting things in their mouth. What are you going to do, though? And I am now in the middle of a gang war. Uh, like I said, the makeup industry is pretty cutthroat, and this is no exception. So hopefully we can get out of here without dying this time. Um... And we inadvertently stumbled into our mission. Uh, you'll have to bear with me here. I have not played this in like two weeks. Um, I do have a real job, and that has kept me very busy. Either way, we will go ahead and... There we go. So this is the clone machine I was talking about uh, last time as well. Yeah, really? And apparently I can just kill my clone, which she's not going to let me do now. That. Did not know that. Very cool. We will have to try that later. In the meantime, that clone will save us a lot of trouble by uh, absorbing hits. So if we were to do that, there we go. Let's just let the clone deal with it. And the good thing is, if you do this with somebody who's really strong, like I said, like the gorilla or the jock, especially the gorilla, um, you get yourself a pretty decent team. Uh, the gorilla uh, is like the gang members, the the crepes and the blods, uh, where he can have three people at once, which is pretty handy. And I don't know why we're killing everyone. Honestly, I'm I'm just kind of goofing around right now. And can I? Uh, nope. Either way, so let's heal up. There we go. We are now fully stocked and ready to conquer whatever we're supposed to do here. I believe it's a rescue mission. Oh no, just retrieve. Alright, so let's uh, poison the living hell out of them. If there's a vent somewhere. Mm, doesn't seem to be. Well, that sucks. So, next best thing. We will just do this, and this, and that, and that. Yeah, I was tired of that guy. Really? Okay. Oh, you know what? He, he's got it, I'm sure. So let's see if we can knock him before he... into. Yeah, there we go. 
Um, so another thing, I don't know if we went over it before, but there's trip lasers all over the place. Uh, and they will explode. Um, the red ones explode, the yellow ones set off an alarm, I believe. And the other thing that I found out by paying attention, imagine that, sure. Um, you get skills by leveling up. So if you level up on a floor, you get a skill at the end of the floor. Uh, which would be why I wasn't getting them later in the game. Because at that point it's hard to level up. At least right now. I mean, this is, this is still an alpha. So, you know, I'm, I'm sure the the experience that you gain it starts getting nerfed uh, as you get closer to the end. But even with only two floors, this is still a very fun game and hopefully we can go over at least a couple characters before moving on to something else. I don't know why I did that. We're, we're probably gonna die. Okay. Yeah, let's get the hell out of here. That was a really bad idea. And uh, there we go. We'll just do that. And that. So that's the neat thing about the vampire. Uh, you can just heal as much as you want. And that means you, you're free to sell all your food. Like, here we go. So I don't need cocaine, or poison, or whiskey. I mean, I do need those things, just not in this game. Uh, we'll save the syringes. Uh, the cologne's alright. It just makes it so people aren't so suspicious of you. There we go. And the good thing about the vampire, too, it's kind of like the doctor. You can neutralize people who have guns very easily. And there's some more food we can sell. So we'll get rid of the banana, and the monkey translator, and the ham sandwich. There we go. We will also uh, snort some cocaine and get a move on. So let's, uh, here's how the gunplay works in this. Yeah, you can see that I'm kind of aiming in the direction I'm facing. Um, if you, I don't know if you can see him, the movement stick is also helping me aim when I do start shooting. Um, there's like another option you can do where you have like a little reticle on the screen. Uh, but I also don't really like playing with keyboards, so um, I just kind of manual it. It works more or less. It works enough. I've, I've beaten this game enough that I'm not worried about aiming. Plus it's more fun to just have bullets flying everywhere. Especially if you get the big bullets skill. Um, then, I mean, you're not really going to miss. So let's go ahead and refill our shotgun. Re-equip that. And see what kind of mischief we can get up to. Looks like there's a quest for us down here. We'll start with that. Mr. M over there. Alright, McDonald's man, what you got for us? Uh, rescue a thief and we'll get some nuggets. Uh, let's try not to. Good, the cop didn't see us. <laughs> That's how you do that. So. Neutralize. Um, let's go ahead and do this while we're over here. We'll use the skeleton key. We will throw a rock through the lasers. We will equip a gun. And we will shoot the hell out of that guy. Okay, let's go get that lockpick. See if we can... Oh, well, that's not what I meant to do. Either way, we were fortunate enough to... Oh, God. Uh, <laughs> to have enough health to survive that. Whoa, 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 okay. Okay, well, that was terrible. Uh, let's go back to home base. I don't think we went there last time. We'll do that real quick. Sure. So you can see, yeah, there's some coming soon stuff. But uh, if you want to go to co-op, you can do it here, which we don't want to do. 
Uh, this is where you buy traits. So with sick nuggets, uh, we can't really buy much, and you can see that I've unlocked just about all of them that are available right now. Um, mutators. Uh, you can turn some of these things on. I haven't bothered to yet, but you know you can go to cheat mode. Uh, you can turn off melee weapons or guns. No disasters. Uh, that does sound fun. Especially if you do no disasters endless mode, that would be nice. Maybe one day. Uh, we can play the tutorial again. We might do that. Uh, here, you can spend your uh, chicken nuggets to go into the game with some extra stuff. So, like if I want to start with a quick escape teleporter or a wall bypasser, which is pretty useful. And this guy lets you unlock rewards. And what these are, when you complete missions, these have a chance to spawn, I believe is what it is. Uh, yeah, that's what it says up top. And we'll go ahead and get that one, leaving us with one delicious nugget. And that will be our sacred nugget. And the tutorial uh, takes all of a, like five minutes. Since we died so early, we'll go over that real quick. And it's going to go through the credits, I believe. There we go. Um, you can read that real quick. And, yeah, here's where it uh, talks about the chicken nuggets and beer and whatnot being so valuable, like they are today. So, his first executive order was to raise a tax on one-time confiscation of all alcoholic privileges. I don't know what I just said. Um, he threw the mother of all ragers for his uh, constituents. And in reality, there was only one keg and a bag of tortilla chips. It was super lame. And he used that money to fund an army of goons, those the people we're killing. And the city's in chaos, but there's still hope because our secret organization, known only as the Resistance, has been formed to fight back against the mayor's tyrannical leadership. And that's where our tale begins. And this is where we go into the Streets of Rouge. So, there we go. This guy's going to uh, explain it. So you want to join the resistance, eh? Well, there's something you should know. Our standards are extremely high. I'd offer words of encouragement, but I seriously doubt you're going to get very far. Well, let's see. His first task to move around. Holy crap, you did it. Open that door by pressing the A button. Okay. Sweet. Furthest anyone's got. It's just because we're awesome. We're going to take that. Oh my god. But there's no way they could possibly figure out what to do with that thing. Uh, is it that? No? Alright. <laughs> nice. Oh no, he spontaneously exploded. I'm so sorry you had to see that. On the plus side, you must be doing pretty well so far to get him that excited. He had a lot of emotional problems. Anyways, no use moving around. I'll take over from here. Sweet. Okay. Buy a hacking tool from the shop. Can do. And I'll buy that banana. No problem. Oh, he doesn't fight back. I never tried this the last time I played the tutorial. Uh, let's see, just to be clear, while well, the Resistance normally condones achieving your goals for any means necessary, violence included, he was a pretty cool guy. And frankly, we're low on shopkeepers. Okay, so he wants us to go hack this computer. And I don't think we got to see that last time, so let's do that real quick. And you can also make the television explode, uh, FYI, but we're going to do what they want us to. And... Oh, well, we tried. <laughs> okay. Trial mission, huh? Destroy the generator. Hmm. Sweet. So, I don't do this too much. Holding down A to get stats on people. Uh, frankly, you're going to end up killing everyone. Um, so, he just wants us to do that is not that difficult. 
Okay, meet our staff bouncer. He'll be playing the part of the bad guy, but he's been instructed not to fight back under any circumstances. Nice to make your acquaintance. Rookie, feel free to wail on him as hard as you can. He's a big guy. He could take it. Um, excuse me. I don't really recall agreeing to this. When you sign your resistance paperwork, perhaps you'll recall Section 7C, which states, Members are subject to any and all of the resistance leaders' illogical, dangerous, and or sadistic whims. Uh, that's good career advice, because that's a real job. Well, I would have read that more carefully, but to be honest, it was kind of impossible. Did you guys really need to write the entire document in Braille? Yes, we're making efforts to be more inclusive and diverse. All right. Uh, what did you call it? Tutorial? We can do whatever we want to you. We're the ones in charge. You know, this is the same sort of ridiculous authoritarian crap that the mayor pulls. Stop being a wimp. You'll be fine. We gave you that sweet hard hat, remember? Fair enough. Okay, so... Let's get that bat. And do what we got to. And he's trying to run. There we go. So we got the resistance base key. Uh, and the tutorial will be over soon. Let's do this. Let's do this. Okay. So, here we go. Now walk through that red sensor. It's totally safe. And not harmful at all. Tee hee. And, of course, it is extremely harmful. So let's do that. With the cheeseburger. With the banana. And whoop. And we will throw the rock. And we'll... Okay, I deserve that. Yeah, you did. Open this door. Use LT. <laughs> the special ability that I gave you is cry profusely. I mean, that's not very useful at all, is it? Check out the sketch screens. Press back. Okay, so he gave us cry profusely. It causes you to cry like a little baby. Serves no purpose except to embarrass you. Sweet. Okay, here's the key. Ooh, oops, I just accidentally teleported it to the elevator where you first came in. Open your mission screen with Y, then hover over the elevator icon and press A. Okay, you can also hold Y. You don't have to go through all that crap that he wants you to. So let's use the key. Let's run like hell. Kaboom, mission complete. Aw, oh, you need to get out of the way. You're no fun. You know, I got out of the way the first time I played it, too. I just figured it was going to explode. Um, we lost three people during this exercise. exercise. Gosh, now that I think about it, our onboarding process may need some fine-tuning. Uh, I guess you can join the resistance now. Congratulations. Speak to the doctor when you get in. We'll see about getting you another bacon cheeseburger. You know what? If you wanted to pay me in bacon cheeseburgers, I would be okay with that. And I think that's it. Hopefully this didn't reset all our progress, because this is an alpha. So you can see that uh, we can't get into the bathroom. And this is our resistance leader. So I have a few other things to let you know before we send out you out on a suicide uh, completely achievable mission of taking down the mayor. First, since you're new to the city, you should know that it's built in vertical layers, like a lasagna. Slums at the bottom, then the industrial area, then the faux outdoors park downtown and uptown at the top. The only way to get from one level to the next is through elevators. Second, in addition to your primary mission, we'll need you to do a bunch of other tasks for us. They'll be highlighted on your map, like that generator you just blew up. You'll need to finish your missions on the floor before you can travel to the next one. Third, resistance leaders like myself will help you out by sending you rewards for completing these missions, but that's about all we can do. We're less doers and more idea men. Um... Yeah. Alright, and the mayor has banned chicken nuggets due to the fact that they once caused him a mild tummy ache. And that is why they are such valuable currency in this game. Uh, whether or not I made that clear before. Uh, if you can scrounge up some chicken nuggets, we can trade them for things that will help you out. Doctor, thief, and soldier can bring you a bit more on the nugget situation. Or if you want to head into the city, the elevator's to your north. Good luck to you, young rogue. Oh, and by the way, stay out of the ladies' restroom. That kind of activity embarrasses the resistance more than it does you. I don't know if he says that regardless, because I always open all the doors. Um, let's see. Bacon cheeseburgers? Oh, sorry. The last one was performing long surgery. 
Okay, no, it didn't reset our progress. All right, well, a little bit of a short episode. Uh, kind of messed up there. Got to get back into the groove of this game. And either way, you have a good day.